inspired to share with you what it means to have a mission statement. And I want you to understand where I'm coming from because I don't know, maybe there's out there some people out there like myself because when I used to hear mission statement, I I almost felt like it was something that had to be written very specific with big words, like a company mission statement. And I had a difficult time coming up with one. You know, as 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 a solopreneur, entrepreneur, when I when I dived into that lifestyle and I and I just had this passion that I it was something that I wanted to do, and I'm talking about back in ninety nine and, and two thousand I used to hear that a lot. I used to hear that what was my what was my vision and my mission statement. And uh and so anyway, I had a difficult time coming up with one. So I always used to create one. And I can tell you that back then my mission statement was more than a paragraph. <laughs> okay. And then as uh, as the years went by and I learned my my mission statement got smaller and rewarded multiple times but just recently just today today so can you imagine so many years as i'm writing on my journal um i if you don't know i i always have my little journal that i write what i'm grateful for and and i always write my mission statement uh and by the way this is a new year so it's a new new book but as I'm writing this today, I stopped for a moment before writing my mission statement. And it made this, I started to think, is this really it? Is this really it? And before I know it, I rewarded my mission statement again. And it wasn't a paragraph, it's actually just a, a, a sentence. But when I rewarded it this time, it was, it made an impact. Like, like it, I was like, whoa, where, where did this come from? And I haven't changed it. You know, mission statement is still the same. And, you know, like I said, it's just the words, right? And it's very specific that I was so encouraged and inspired to write it, write it out away from my, my journal into a, a a paper piece of paper white paper that I have I'm pointing over there by the way because that's where I have my vision board and and I wrote it out and it's practically just uh, three words three words so why I'm telling you this is because if you are at a point right now where you're starting out into this entrepreneur lifestyle or or into doing something different in your life that you're seeking that freedom of time and freedom of of money and and freedom of what you want to do and create in your life if you're at that point where you're just starting out maybe you're a month into it years into it okay i want you to know that when your leaders, your uplines, your boss, your, you know, someone who is mentoring you in your life asks you or tells you that you need a mission statement, I want you to realize that it's the first time if you're going to write a mission statement, it's not going to be just right. And the important part is to write it out, to write out what you have in you that you feel that is your mission in your life and write it out. Um, boy, I wish I had I had that piece of paper with me. Um, I have kept that, uh, my, my initial one. And I can tell you right now where it's at. It's somewhere here in my office, but it, it, like I told you, it was, it was more than a paragraph long. But when I read it, it is, it, nothing has changed in my heart. You know, I still go after the same mission. 
But what has changed is the wording and is the very specific and precise, very clear of where I'm going, where I'm heading. And so I ask myself the question. That's that's why, again, this is why I'm, I'm here live telling you this story because I ask after after doing this, you know, I have it now over there, very clear, and it's just inspired me so much that I I ask the question, what 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 happened? Like, what 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 stirred this up? Like, what was the you know what happened yesterday or the week before or the month before? What happened to stir this up? Because I will tell you that. Um, my my little book, my little journal for 2018, uh, when you look through it, my mission statement never changed. It stayed the same. I wrote down the same exact words. Why, why now and why is it different? Why did I have to reword it again and I feel this, this fire in me again? Why? And I figure it out. So what happens is that uh, I was talking to one of my good friends and, and a mentor of mine too. We were together in this mastermind and and we were discussing this this past week, this past week, a, a few things about himself and how he is approaching and, and, and uh, the, he, he wants to, uh, we were talking about who he wants to approach and how he wants to deliver his mission, right? His passion towards towards uh, the world right the, the people around him and uh, it was very interesting very interesting the the work around and the wording that he had and, and he had a question and he questioned he gave me a good question so he asked me a question about you know about my practically my my mission right without saying hey what's your mission he asked a very specific question and got me thinking. I mean, we were we were in the meeting uh, in our in our mastermind weekly mastermind meeting, and and I was thinking, I was, I was just thinking. He he noticed that, and and then the next day uh, or so, or two days after, we had another conversation, and and again the same question came up, and all of a sudden, it hit me. I'm like, whoa, there's there's something here. There's something here that I cannot deny. Something is happening. Something is shifting. What is it? And last night, uh, someone connected with me on Instagram. Very, uh, very, um, um, I don't want to say popular, but very successful individual, okay? That he was, uh, he was actually uh, given the, the opportunity to have a TED Talk, right? So, so I did that. Um, he he connected with me. He sent me a, a link to watch his TED talk, and what do you know? That TED talk was practically about my. It basically read my life, right? And after all that, I realized this morning that what was happening is that is is there was that shift. But what exactly happened is. I, it was a question. It all started with a question. And that's what I want to give you, friend. Okay, that's what I want to give you today. You know, if you're looking for that purpose in your life, if you're writing out a mission statement as, as you hear it from leaders and, and, and successful people around you that they're asking you to write a mission statement, and if you're searching, then you will find you will find the answer. Just don't give up, okay? Don't uh, don't allow a paragraph to shape you, but you shape the paragraph. You shape that mission, because the the more you go, if it's if it comes out of your heart, the more you look at your mission statement, the better and clearer you will be. And before you know it, a paragraph becomes a sentence becomes words becomes one thing. But you've got to be passionately into that mission statement, right? Your 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 vision for what you have in your heart. Okay? And what's gonna make the change, what's gonna improve 
your clarity about what you're supposed to do and what's going to improve your mission statement is questions. Allow those individuals around you in your life who, again, are positively supporting you, allow those leaders around you, those mentors and coaches around you, allow them, when they have a question towards you, allow that question to, you know, stir things up in you. Because that means that you care. That means that you're going in the right direction. See, if I didn't care, I would have heard that question from, from my friend there, and, and I would have said, yeah, I would like I wouldn't have think about it twice. As a matter of fact, I'm sure he's had that given that question to many other people, but yet no one has has probably done what I've done, right? So again, it's it's question. You question you allow questions to pro in the process of your purpose driven path, right? And allow your heart, your passion to shape you up into who you're supposed to be and that mission statement will follow you along. And let me tell you when, again, when I read my mission statement this morning, I was like, whoa, I feel like, I feel like a brand new man. <laughs> and, and again, it's, it's, it's because of all the years. Okay. It's, it's just never quitting, never giving up into that, that, feeling that I know that I have a purpose in this life and I'm sure you do as well so be encouraged stay motivated by your passion and and if you have that moment to write a mission statement remember you got to start somewhere it could be a paragraph it could be a page it could be a whole page it's okay don't compare your mission statement like I did to the company's mission statement. Some of them were so cool, by the way. Don't do that. Just allow, just make sure it's your passion on paper and then allow the process of you learning, you know, doing things that you're supposed to do. Allow that process and then allow your mentors and coaches and leaders around you to shape up and to test if you're for real about that passion that you have and then that mission statement is going to continually get better and clearer and clearer and it's just it just feels so good once you have a very very precise and clear vision statement mission statement when you do that oh my goodness it's just it feels awesome cool all right uh, that's what i have for you today uh, if you like what you just heard, I know I took a bit longer than usual, but uh, go ahead. You're welcome to share this to, to those who you think or you feel that they need to hear this message. And I'll talk to you later. Peace. Subscribe, like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff here. I appreciate that.